Let's get it in. You know what time it is, family. It's your boy, Dr. G, the love motivator here. Number one motivational speaker on life strategies. Let's breathe in while we are alive. Let's, let's get our minds right. Let's get our bodies right. Let's get our spirit right. Let's get to that position where we are full of gratitude. So you know what time it is. Let's say it from the belly. It's knockout time, baby. Come on, let's get it. You know what it takes. One opportunity to blow up. One opportunity to win. One opportunity to live your best life. Let me tell you something. All men are created equal is what we do in this season of our life. That makes us amazing. That makes us full of gratitude. That elevates us to becoming the best version of ourselves. Let me tell you something. I know some of you right now are going through some dark places of your life. Some of you right now are trying to figure out what you want in your marriage, what you want in, in your future, like what it is that you want to become. And I'll tell you this, like as we finish as we finish 2021, if you are still here in the height of the pandemic, if you have made it this far, you didn't just come here by accident. You didn't make it this far by accident. It's because you got something inside of you. It's because you got more inside of you. I want to tell you, if you have been through something, like if you have made it through something and you're going through something, I want you to take a minute for a moment and tap yourself on the back. I want you I want you to take a minute for a moment and just tap yourself on the back and say, look, I am amazing. I am powerful. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I want you to understand that you are in a position where greatness is upon you. Like you got greatness inside of you on this world is waiting for you to shine. It's waiting for you to show up. Like whatever it is like you could be a singer a songwriter i don't know an actor like i'm super super excited like i want to tell you like like your dreams Ooh, come on i got this book i'm so fired up like i'm so excited about this book that's coming i want to tell you your dreams chose you whatever you're going through right now i want to tell you that your dreams were tailor-made fashioned and molded and handed to you and that's why Ooh, i'm super excited about my new book Look, knock out time family. I wanna I wanna tell you this, all men are created equal. Like right now in this in, in this pandemic, I told you like I lost my sister like last year. April the 14th, I'm dedicating this book, like, I'm, de I'm dedicating this book, like, this book is, it, it is in our memory, so it's a special book to me, but I, I, I use my pain to push me to greatness, I use my pain to, to keep going, and I, I want to tell you this, like, no matter what dreams you have, like, your dreams chose you, like, God gave them to you, and you just got to execute, and I know, I know, I know some of you right now can't figure out your next step, but sometimes you just got to be still and know. Come on. It's sometimes you just got to be still and know who the creator is. Like he put something inside of you and he wants you to just show up and put in the work. But I, I want to give you two principles. Like I want to I want to give you two two principles that will change your life forever. I want you to know that you got to be dedicated. Like seriously. Like you've got to be so dedicated and committed to what you say you're going to do. Like some of you right now, you say, oh yeah, I want to I wanna become a millionaire. But you don't want to be committed to the process. Like you don't want to be taking the steps that you need to get you to that next level. You don't want to be putting in the work. Like, look, everybody got an opportunity. Like right now, you're in an opportunity. The fact that you're listening to me, you're right in the opportunities. All you got to do is to show up and put in the work. But make sure, like say, if you say you're going to do something, like just do it. It don't matter how much times you fail, keep working on it. Like, people got to understand that. I understand, like, when I, when, I, when I went to that place that from a broken heart, like, I understood that it's not about the other person, it's about me. They might have done me wrong, but it's not, it's not about the other person, it's about me. If I could just get myself in a position where I understand whatever it takes is down to what I do. And some of you right now, you're not committed to what you say you're going to do. Like in the moment and in your feelings, like you might be thinking about, you you don't know what you say you're going to do. You you give it a couple of hours and then you quit. Like you, you give it a couple of days and you quit. You give it a couple of weeks. Like you haven't sticked it out. You haven't stayed committed to what you say you're going to do. And that's why you are struggling. Like that's why you are getting the results that you don't want. You, you are getting the results that you don't want because you never stayed committed. So you say you're going to lose some weight. You say that you're going to exercise. You, you, you did it one, two, three times. Like, you did not stuck it out. Like, seriously. You did not put in the work all the way through. I'm trying to explain to you. I'm not number one motivational speaker because I said I am. I know I am. And, and I'm going to say the world don't know me yet. But I understand it takes 
grit. It takes hard work. It takes me staying focused when more of us being dedicated. So what are you willing to dedicate yourself to? And I'm going to give you a second principle. Like, I, I know you committed. I know you dedicated. But I want you to be faithful. Ooh. Right now, no, 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 no. You, you don't understand. Like, faithfulness says that it, even though it don't, I don't feel like it. Even though it hurts, even though you, I show up and it don't seem like it's in my favor. Like I told you, like, look, in this book, like I executed becoming, speaking on the same stage as Dr. Eric Thomas. That's the picture that, of me on that same stage. I wrote, even though that was the worst personal development event I ever been through in my whole life, I showed up and I executed, even though the organizers didn't do it the way I thought they said they were going to, they weren't true to their word. I'm going to tell you this, I, I made it happen. And in the height of that, of that failure and that disappointment of that event, that it didn't go the way that they, they didn't stick to their promises. They didn't do the things that they said they were going to do. I'm going to take that pain. Oh, I'm going to turn it into a book. Come on. I, I, I said I was going to execute and I did it. So I'm going to tell you this, guys. Like for all of you right now, stay faithful. Like, like it's not over yet. Like the storm, the storm will pass. Like some of us are going through a storm. And some of us might be just coming out of a storm. The storm will pass. So I need you. I need you right now, wherever you are in the world. Like, no matter what situation may come up. Like, no matter what trials, no matter what obstacles may come up. It's down to what you do. Your response to it. Like, listen, listen to me. Stay faithful. Like, if you say you're going to lose some weight, stay faithful. Come on. I know you're dedicated to it. Like, seriously, I know. But if you could just stay faithful, stick it out. Like, just stick it out. Like, stay with it. Come on. Like, stay with it, guys. The moment that you stay with it, the moment that you stay with it is the moment that you start to win. So, guys, I know, I know. Hey, we're in the last quarter of the year. We're just about to finish. And November, we're about to enter uh, December. And I know you got, like, four weeks left. And all the things that you said you're going to do, you didn't accomplish. All the things that you are working on, you, 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 all the things that you started out strong with. And you, you went through January and February and March. You know, uh, you came down to the month of November and you're looking back and you're saying, look, I've been through some pain and this, this pain seemed to break me. But I want to tell you, your pain is meant to make you. And the moment that you get to that position where you're not going to give up, you're not going to give in, you're, you're going to sacrifice now for later because you understand it's down to what you do. It's your boy, Dr. G, Love Motivator. You know what time it is. It's another knockout time. It's another Sunday motivation. I, I want you to understand. I found the gap, baby. Come on. They do. They waiting for Monday for motivation. I found the gap, baby. I show up on Sunday because I realize, I realize that it, some people don't understand. It's about not just the Monday because they say Monday is the day that most people take suicide. <laughs> Because those are, they're going through a dead end job. They're doing something that they don't want to do with their life. So I beat you. Come on, I beat you. And today I want to put this in your spirit that today is your dead best day of your life. Like you're here, you don't promise tomorrow. Like today is all you got. So that's why all you got is 24 hours. All you got is right now. Like today is your day to win. So yeah, winning your marriage, winning your relationship with your kids, like we're winning your relationship with your moms. Like I want you to get this. Winning your if you got a dream, like winning that. So today is your day to win. Let's put it in the belly. Let's breathe in. Thank God we are alive. Like seriously, we just thank God we are still here. And because we're still here, we're gonna do something great. I know something about you that you have something special. Like you are you have greatness inside of you. You are a masterpiece because you are a piece of a master. Created. Come on. Created for greatness. So let's say it. You know what time it is, family. I love you just watching on the Sunday motivation. You know what time it is. Let's say it from the belly. It's knockout time, baby. Come on. Let's get it.